Well, it's so fascinating to look up at the stars and find out what's happening out there. And of course, the Lima Astronomical Society there to help at Schooner Observatory. And joining me today, the treasurer of the uh, society, Michael Ritchie, to tell us about things that happen in there coming up. So thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us, Holly. All right. So first of all, let's talk about your programs because you have one coming up on Friday the 1st. We, we do. Friday the 1st. Uh, we have a very special guest coming in. Uh, it's uh, Dr. Uh, Brian Bolanger. He is the chairman of the civil engineering department at Ohio Northern University, but he is also an eminent expert, worldwide expert on light pollution. Oh, okay. And so he is also the vice president of the International Dark Sky Association, Ohio chapter. So he's coming out to talk to us about light pollution, which we have quite a bit in this area. Right. But uh, he's basically going to concentrate. We're trying to put another observatory out at Kendrick Woods area. And so we're going to try and get that park designated as a dark sky place or a dark sky park. It's kind of hard to tell which way it will go because of the rules changes. There's only two or three of those in all of Ohio right now. So we're oh. trying to get another one in. Plus, he's also going to, going to talk to us and eventually talk to the city of Lima and Allen County about instituting a lighting ordinance, something that we don't have here. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the cities uh, east of the Mississippi are older cities, and they don't have lighting ordinances. So everyone's out there putting as much lighting as they, as they can and switching over to the LED lighting. So we're going to try to eliminate some of that and bring those dark skies back to this area. Right, yeah. I mean, it's amazing if you go out somewhere there, or there's a dark sky, how many more stars you see and stuff. And it, it is. I think it's even better for wildlife and things, too, if it's darker mm -hmm. when it's supposed to be. So, uh, as fascinating many, program. As many years as I've been in astronomy, I took my daughter out to Arizona uh, a number of years ago, and it's so dark out there, I was lost in see? the sky. In that neat? It took a while to find where you're at. Right. But Fascinating stuff. All right, yes. so that's a neat program. Free for everyone. That is at 8 o'clock on 8 Friday. All right. You've got some right with you. I've got the We're glasses. all counting down for the solar eclipse, but you just can't go, oh, look up at the sky at this. You need these glasses. No, you need the special glasses. Uh, the, you can't look at the sun. Uh, you can even try, and you can't. You have to look away. You can't look at the sun. The sun puts out a lot of infrared and ultraviolet light that you don't sense. And so if you try to look at the sun or the eclipse and stuff without the special glasses, you're going to burn your eyes. Wow. Uh, it can either cause a permanent damage or a, a sunburn of the back of the retina of the eye. And the thing is, there's no pain receptors in the back of your eyes, so you don't know what's happening until a few days later. Oh. So we're selling the glasses. We are the only authorized uh, seller of these glasses. They're completely certified, CE and ISO certified. Uh, we had them custom made for us. We get them in 5,000 at a time. So they're $4 a piece right now or three for $10. Uh, businesses, the service organizations that would want to buy some for their members, they can contact us either at uh, limaastro.com or they can call our, our number 419-371-1289 or come out on a Sunday. We're open every Sunday from 2 to 5 p.m. to sell the glasses, and right. we've been selling quite a few of them. That's good, because you just don't want to buy any pair of glasses on the internet or something, no, because uh, you want to make sure you're safe. During the last total eclipse here in the United States in 2017, uh, China flooded the market with cheaper ones, and they ended up burning people's eyes. So yeah. wow. All we right. have them custom made. Okay, that's awesome. Made so here we, in the United States. We know that we've got some good ones. And of course, we'll, you guys will hear more about this, but yes. we're planning big things with the eclipse that is coming up on April 8th. Yep, uh, <laughs> out at Schoonover Park on, on April 8th, we're gonna have the Friends of Lima gonna come in and help us since we're a smaller club. Uh, they're going to plan a big shindig. That's going to be it's fun. It's going to fill the whole park. They'll be they'll be renting out the park for trailers and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to have a fishing derby, uh, a hog roast, uh, food trucks, uh, entertainment tents. Uh, we're going to do it up right, aren't we? Because we're going to yep. be able to see it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All we're right. going to have a big celebration. That's fun. All right. Well, we'll learn more about that. Thank you very much for coming today. Oh, Good to see welcome. you. Thank you. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next. Okay.